Hey, welcome back to Bed Squared. On this channel, we simplify educational tech. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how you can use a, I was looking down because I was looking for my microphone, how to use a professional mic with the iPad on your Google Meet or your Zoom video conferences. So just to set the scene, it doesn't make a difference whether you're using um, the web browser or you're using the Google app, okay, the Google Meet app. This could be the Zoom app. It could be any app. So let's just start a new meeting. I'm gonna go, go start an instant meeting. And what I've done here is I've clicked, I've connected the Blue Yeti. To get better audio, I've connected this Blue Yeti, yeah? If I click on the headphones here, you can see that the, it says Yeti stereo microphone. That's where I've connected it from. So that's my mic. This is my input device, okay? And what's brilliant about this particular microphone is we've got a headphone jack at the bottom. Now the iPad Pro, doesn't have a headphone jack. None of the iPad Pros have a headphone jack. And so using this microphone, the Blue Yeti, I can connect a headphone. These are earphones, by the way. So now I can go ahead and use these, connect these into my ear. I can hear without any disturbances, any participants. And I could bring this close enough like this. I'll bring this nice and close. And what I can do with this, if I turn this around and show you, there's a gain knob. So if it's too noisy, I'm in a noisy environment, I might want to tailor down the gain, okay? So it doesn't seem as if I'm shouting at my participants. So what's brilliant about the Blue Yeti, I could tailor down the gain, okay? And then that way, you know, they're gonna hear me at a reasonable level. I can also change, now depending, let's say for example, this was a business meeting and there were two of us on this end, I could change this from an omnidirectional to, the, to a you know, multi-directional. I can have another participant sitting here and then I can change the polar pattern basically to have it pick up an A and a B. Uh, it will pick up both of us. Now, that's not a pleasant look because in my feed here, I've got this big and nasty mic in the way. So maybe I want to move it to the side a little bit, just out of frame. Okay, there. Now that's close enough for me, look, that's about that much of a distance, okay, about six inches, is giving really good audio to the participants on the Zoom or, or the Google Meet. They can't see the mic because it's just out, just shy of uh, the camera feed here. So that's brilliant. Let's go back to my Zoom. Let me go ahead and show you the setup. Okay, I've got my Blue Yeti and this is connected with a USB Micro B. This is a B cable, yeah, Microsoft. Uh, Microsoft. <laughs> this is a micro USB cable, okay, that connects at the bottom of the of the Blue Yeti. And as we're here, you can see that there's a mic jack as well, okay? So there's a mic jack here, which is brilliant, isn't it? This is this is the whole reason why I'm suggesting using this uh, microphone, because you've got here a headphone jack, okay, 3.5 mil headphone jack here. That's what makes this quite versatile, that we can go ahead and use that. So let's go and check this out. Of course, my earphones are gonna be plugged into my ears, of course, um, so I can hear my participants without having any of that feedback loop. Because I've got the audio in my ears and my mic is picking up the input, the input and the output are separated. This is just your standard USB-A port. Okay, that's gonna connect into my hub. Let me go ahead and show you the hub. Uh, because this uh, 2020 iPad runs on a uh, Type-C port, that's gonna go into the iPad. And then I've got a bunch of USB um, A's here. So I'm gonna plug into my USB A. So that mic, that's gonna go into there. And I'm gonna go ahead and plug this into the iPad. Now, if I check out the audio, you can see here that my indicator lights come on. If I wanna at any point put this on mute, I can just click that button and that flashing button represents that this mic now is on mute. Right, I can adjust the audio level here. I can adjust the audio for my input, which is brilliant. I don't need to faff around over here. I don't need to go to the control center uh, and adjusting the audio. Now I don't need to because I've got an actual physical knob here, okay? I've got a physical knob, I can adjust uh, my volume. At the same time, like I explained before, there's a gain knob here as well, okay? So I've got a gain knob. So if my audio is too hot on their end, my participants say, hey, that's too noisy, then I can go ahead and adjust my gain. If they say, hey, we can't hear you, you're too quiet, I can just put up my gain, okay? And this is brilliant for participants who don't have a heavy projected voice. They can go ahead and just adjust their gain from here. The polar patterns, like I said, is omnidirectional. I can have it in an interview setting where I've got two people either side. Okay, one person sitting here and one person sitting on the other side of the table. I can have uh, the AB pattern. For me, I'd use it, I'll keep it on 
omnidirectional, that little sort of mushroom. Let me just talk to you. The benefit of doing it like this, okay, is so that basically I, I've got more control over my audio. I can mute it when I want to mute it. I can adjust the volume when I want to adjust the volume. And I can put in something more comfortable. So I can, I, if I don't want to use these, I want overhead earphones, I can put those in, okay? Something that makes it more comfortable for me. That's the whole name of the game, isn't it? Keep it comfortable because you're doing so many, you know, meetings online that you want to be in a situation where you're comfortable. Anyway, I hope that was helpful. Not everyone uh, has that ambition to get an external mic, you don't need one. For the most part, I don't really use it unless I'm in the studio. And if you are interested in EdTech support, then consider subscribing. And as always, I'll catch you in the next one. Hey, if you like that, make sure you subscribe, turn on notifications, look at some of the videos in the playlist for EdTech tutorials, okay? And as always, I'll catch you in the next one.